hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial in this video we are going to see how to create um, radio button menu item so in the previous video we saw how to create a, a checkbox menu item here if you see these are all the radio button menu items so we will use j radio button menu item uh, instance to create these radio button menu items then as usual we will use j menu j menu bar so this portion is j menu bar and this one is the j menu inside we will add j radio button menu items so to say whether a particular menu item is selected or not we will use is selected method on the uh, uh, menu item uh, radio button menu item so is selected will tell whether that particular menu item is selected or not all right so if you see here in this example we have a j frame we have a menu fruits inside the menu fruits we have four j radio button menu items and when user selects a particular radio button menu item the label here in the frame window tells that uh, whether that particular item is selected or not or simply it tells which uh, radio button menu item is selected So this is the instance we will use J radio menu item. Just like our previous example, uh, you can create J radio menu item with an icon. But here in this example, we will create this by passing a string. So we will pass a label. So in the previous screenshot, we saw fruit name, right? Here label is replaced by that fruit name so it has a string parameter and that will get displayed next we will add this j radio menu item to j menu just like how we added a checkbox menu item in the previous example the same way we will create a j menu instance and by making use of its add method we will add this j radio menu item so that's all we need and if you see here um, this will expose a function called is selected when you make a call to this method it will return either true or false true means the radio button is actually selected by the user and it is in a it's in a checked state and false means it is not selected by the user all right the j radio menu item will produce an item event which can be received by item listener we saw this a many time so if you use anonymous inner class um, the event source is not required but here in this uh, example we will use item state changed here we are not using the anonymous inner class that means if we add four j radio menu item and if all those will register the same listener all four uh, radio button will make a call to this item state changed so that's why we from the incoming e we need to make a call to get source to know which particular radio button is originating this item event so that we can use here inside the code get source 
that will return the j radio atom j radio menu item then we can make a call to its members like we can make use of is selected and we can tell whether that particular radio menu item is um, selected or not all right um that's all uh, here we will go to the demo now here ex eclipse oxygen is opened for you here we have a class called swing radio menu item which extends from j frame then we have its initial size and position we have the content pan ready control host then we set a border layout to it in the main entry we create this uh, j frame then we set visible to true so if i run this this is how it looks for more detailed information watch the very first video in this uh, java swing series all right first uh, so first we have to create j menu bar so this is as usual with our previous example then we set this menu bar to our frame window after that we create menu and menu name is fruits then if you see here we are creating four radio button menu item so j radio button menu item is from java x dot swing package so we are importing it then we are passing the labels apple banana cherry and grapes so here we created four radio menu items so the concept is the same like creating the radio buttons here it is just a radio menu item so that's the difference so to form a group uh, we want to group all these four menu item under uh, a fruit category so what we will do we will create a button group and then uh, we add all these four menu item to that group then the button group will take care of uh, displaying these four menu item as a radio menu item that means if you select apple uh, apple will get selected and if you select grapes apple will get deselected and grapes will be selected and if you select banana grapes will be deselected and banana will be selected that means in a group at a given time only one radio button menu item can be in a checked state all right now we will go ahead and create the button group so button group is from java x dot swing package again then here we created four menu item right and we are adding those to our button group so button group we created here then we are adding all our menu item one by one banana cherry and then grapes so we added those to the button group so here menu bar is ready menu bar is added to the frame using the set j menu bar function then to the menu bar we added a menu by calling the j menu bar dot add method so the fruits menu is now empty what we will do we will add all our uh, radio button menu items to the fruits so do not get confused with the button group add this is for a grouping all these four under a single group so that these four will act as a one radio button group or we can say one radio button menu item group that means in this for menu item user can have only one in a selected state so the next time if user selects a different menu item the previously selected one goes unselected so that's the purpose of this button group and the add method here 
we are actually adding our video button menu to our j menu here fruits so now let's run this and check once how it is behaving so this is the fruits menu and you can see all radio button all this menu four menu items are displayed as a radio button for now let me select the fruit cherry next time when i open it you can see that cherry is having a check mark now let me select apple and if i open the menu once again you can see that cherry got deselected and apple got selected this is because we kept all these four in single group so if you categorize these two as a two different group then user can select two uh, menu item at a given time so if we have group uh, we would advise to put a separator that will give you a uh, differentiation to the user or even you can put a menu then keep those radio menu item as a sub menu we will see sub menu in the next video or for simplicity you can put a uh, separator between the groups so here we have only one group so there is no separator so in the slide we saw that j radio menu item will rise an item event so what we are doing uh, here we are going to implement item listener for our uh, class so our class implements item listener import item listener from java.awt.event so i'm clicking that so now the error is shifted to our class so i'm placing the cursor here then i'm choosing add an implemented method so this will provide a skeleton code here we can write our uh, code to handle the item event which is produced by the j radio menu item so the event is raised when user selects a particular uh, j radio menu item okay um, we will have a member so this member will tell which uh, radio button is selected so j label it is from swing so here we created the label component and we will add this label component to the frame window frame window here we are constructing j frame swing radio menu item so here we are adding our table so now remember it's a border layout so if we directly add it this label go to the center portion of the border layout and if i run it uh, the label will be here and if i add some text that will get added here so this entire center portion is occupied by our label now so next uh, we register all our 4j radio menu item with uh, the item listener the item listener is nothing but our uh, class itself our frame class itself uh, item listener why because it, it Im implements item listener we have this skeleton code ready so that's why what we say am i dot add item listener this so this is nothing but our uh, frame class so our four radio button menu item registering with the item listener so that when user uh, selects a radio menu item then it will raise an event and make a call to the event handler function which is implemented by the user so here in this case we will 
implement this soon. So the radio, J radio, I mean, item will post this item event and make a call to this item state changed. Okay, this will be 11. So if we see here, we are receiving the item event. From this item event, we are making call to get source. Why? Because if you see all four J radio menu item is registering with the this instance, which means the frame class. So that means whether uh, user clicks apple or cherry or banana or grapes, all will raise the item event and uh, uh, makes a call to the item state changed. So when we are inside the item state changed, we need to know uh, out of these four possible uh, event source, which one is produced the particular event. That means the item event. So for that only we are making call to e dot get source. So if user clicked banana, the e dot get source will return the mi banana menu item banana. So that's the event originator. So that we can get here inside the handler because all four is sharing the same event handler. In the previous example, we used anonymous inner class, so we no need to worry about the get source. But here in this case, uh, since we are not using the anonymous inner class and uh, um, all four uh, J radio menu item is sharing the same event handler, we are making call to get source. Next, so the get source, if you see, J radio menu item, we are typecasting this as an event source. So the event source can be anything. It can be menu apple, menu banana, or menu cherry, or menu grapes. So it depends which button user uh, uh, selected. So if uh, the event source is in selected, I mean, if the event source is selected, then we set the label text as label text. We know that we already added the label to the center of our uh, J frame. So we set the text stating event source dot get text. So here event source is nothing but our radio button menu item. The get text will return the label assigned to this menu item. So during the construction, we assigned apple, banana, cherry and grapes as the menu item. I mean the uh, menu text or label text. So that will get returned by making call to the get text method. Then we simply state radio is selected. So if the event originator is mi banana, the get source will typecast it to the mi banana then from mi banana we are making call to get text get text will return banana and here we say banana radio is selected all right now it's time to run this so it states that banana radio is selected and we know the property already so if I select cherry now, this will get deselected and this will get uh, selected. So now we say cherry radio is selected. That's all here in this uh, video. We just watched the demo. Thank you. Bye.